Hello everybody, RD living with the geezer. And I'm just pulling out of the post office and uh, just take a little ride up here. Drive up here towards the uh, state park. Yeah, it's, uh, let's see, Thursday afternoon. Uh, yeah, I just saw, he was waving at me and I pulled over to pull into the courthouse to get in the shade. I wanted him to follow me. Uh, Jason's Texas Adventures. I recognized, well, he recognized me. His old arm flew out of that truck. He was waving at me. We're, we're going to meet up over in Marfa on Saturday at that Marfa Lights Festival. But yeah, I was, was trying to get you to follow me, Jason, but you kept going straight. So I'll probably see you in town again here before Saturday. It's uh, Fort Davis isn't that big. But uh, yeah, I'm going to ride up here. Just take a little ride and I'll let you all know what's going on. I, uh, I went over to Marathon and did a five video series. I thought I'd make it worth my, my mileage. It's about 125 mile round trip. So I wanted to get some videos in. Ah, let's see what old Olympia Creek, uh-oh. Uh-oh, look at Olympia Creek RV Park. That grass is turning a little yellow. Velma's not watering. <laughs> yeah, I don't see old, uh, I don't see old smarty pants out there pulling sprinklers around. Yep, it'll look like a desert here in a month. A lot of work down the drain right there, but anyway. Uh, yeah, I did a five. I'm gonna. I'll start that up tomorrow, and uh, uh, you know, if something comes up in between them, then I'll, you know, I'll, I'll we'll get them all in eventually. But yeah, it turned out <clears throat> turned out to be a pretty good little trip. I forgot how scenic that drive is. Out, uh, you've got the panoramic views of the uh, Glass Mountains out there. It's just beautiful, yeah. And I went out to that county park, the post. So catch catch that series, guys. Let's see, I'm gonna aim my camera the right way here. Let's see some mountains. Yeah, and I just watched an excellent video by uh, Travis T. The weekend uh, when he came out to visit me, he uh, didn't come out here to visit me. He, he swung by and visited with me. For a little bit and brought me that taco tuesday stuff which turned out great and uh but he got his video out today so y'all check that video out he hiked up to the top of mount baldy which i think he said was the is the third highest peak in texas and uh it's an excellent video uh yeah he edits them and uh really good travis so uh, I'll leave a link to Jason's uh, channel and Travis's. And this weekend, I'm also meeting up with uh, Kevin and Joanne over in Marfa for hiking with Jackie Boy. So gonna have a busy, busy weekend here. Yep, yep. So uh, two weeks from tomorrow, I'm taking off, going back to Boyd. So if there's anything in particular you all want to see out here before I leave, I'll be, if it's, if it's within range, I'll be glad to do it. I'm, I am gonna take, get one day and go down to Balmeray and do four or five videos down there. And then I'll, I wanna do one day and go up by the observatory and up past it a little bit. Uh, that'll be the area that where Travis was up in there. The preserve won't be open where he he was back. I mean, he was back in the boonies where he was camping. He had his truck all decked out with a bed and everything. So he he knows what he's doing, and he's in shape. He's a young guy. He he he, he can pull off those that uh, those are eight thousand foot uh, peaks or close to it up there. I know Mount Livermore is over 8,000 feet. So, uh, yeah. Let's see what else. 
what else, what else, geezer? I just mainly want to tell you about that marathon series coming up and then Balmeray and then uh, up here by the observatory. That's the three that I have planned. Uh, one of my viewers said they were looking at property up in the Davis Mountain uh, Resort, so uh, I may try to get back out there again if she gives me a specific uh, place you might want to see where they cut through this road. A lot of work. Yeah, we're going up. This is the road going up towards the observatory. We just passed the state park. But, uh, yeah, I had a couple of y'all email me and tell me about uh, uh, pop-up campers. Uh, I'm, it, it'll be the end of next month before I could possibly do anything uh, because I'll be in a little bit better financial. I got a little uh, windfall coming in. They said it would come in before the end of September. And that's the state talking, so you got to take that into consideration. But I'm grateful that if it does come through, I'm very, very grateful for it. And uh, then, I, then, yeah, if something really good comes along by owner, I'd be able to buy it in cash, and uh, that's what I'm. That's what I'm going to have to do, guys. The dealers now, right now, on RVs. They say that they're coming down. Their prices are still outrageous. I mean, they're just, they're, they're nuts. They want to charge you 8 9% interest and uh, just nuts, you know. I'm so happy my son found that deal he got when he got it. He got it, I think he got it right before COVID hit. And, uh, man. He got a heck of a deal. Beautiful trailer. And they, I saw dealers wanting as much as he paid for a used pop-up camper. Yeah. yeah tell, tell me tell me that's not about a 4,000% a markup, you know. They're crazy. I'm going to turn around right here at Prude Ranch, guys. Oh, this is another place I guess I could do a video because the kids are gone now. Yeah, we'll drive through Prude Ranch here one of these days. Yeah, I've, I've got one on my playlist, on my Fort Davis playlist. So, uh, yeah, check it out. Yeah, I'd, I'd be doing more or less the same thing if I drove through again. There's a little state picnic area right over there. All right, guys, that's, that's uh, 10 minutes, I believe. Eight minutes, that's good. Peace out. Stay positive. Stay blessed. And, uh, yeah, just uh, catch my series on Marathon. And then uh, we got a couple of more that I'll... Balmeray will have about four or five parts to it, too. So, then once, uh, once September rolls around, which is manana tomorrow... Uh, I'm going to cut back on the, well, when I get back up to Boyd, I'm going to cut back on the videos a little bit. I'm spending too much time on my phone. I got, I got other priorities. I'm still going to keep my channel going. Don't get me wrong. I enjoy doing it, but yeah, it, it's not going to be a video every day, probably. Uh, two or three a week might be good. Well, we'll see. You know, I changed my mind in about three minutes from now, so that's just me. Bye-bye. Adios.